What is going on my lions? Welcome back. Happy New Year. Today we're going to talk about one simple thing. What are the most profitable products in 2020 that we can start uh, buying and selling on Amazon FBA? And that's it. That's the main goal, guys. And honestly, guys, some of the most effective techniques that I've learned over the years are some of the most simple techniques, like the data is right in front of you. You just got to know how to manipulate it and how to actually read it and understand it so that you can find profitable trades in different products wherever you see them, guys. So one of the best databases that I always, always use when I'm finding my profitable products is Amazon itself. Now, Amazon itself is a database of products and it has rankings and everything based on actual activity happening on Amazon, right? So if you think about it, right, so the best seller products on Amazon are because people are buying those products because it is in demand and you got to understand those products. You got to look at what people are doing or the sellers are doing actually to make those products profitable, uh, sellable, marketable and learn from that and basically copy the most effective traits of any Amazon FBA seller by looking at the back end of their data. Now, how do we do that? Helium 10 is one of the most um, versatile, I would say, products out there that will allow you to navigate that and really learn about different products and different sellers. Now, the Chrome extension is absolutely free, guys. Um, as you guys remember, I used to be with Jungle Scout. Now, I still have it. I still have it as a, um, as a plugin right here, but I don't use it as much. It's mostly Helium 10 that I use, and it's very effective when I'm trying to find my profitable products. So, Let's get started. So what I want to show you guys are the most profitable products of Amazon in 2020. So as you guys know, the bestseller ranking is basically live up to date, the ranking of products as they are selling on the Amazon platform. So what I like to do is look at the back end data of those products. So let's just go to Amazon FBA or sorry, Amazon.com. Just so right, like you just log in. Uh, to your account if you already have an account or just go to amazon.com right um, and you will see that you're not gonna see all the best ranking products right away right so how can you find those best um, uh, the, the products that are ranking the highest or the best seller products on Amazon FBA so what do you do is just Google it it's as simple as that guys and a lot of people don't know that a lot of people think um, there is a method to it. You have to um, subscribe to certain products to actually get that data, but you don't. So you basically Google, go to Google, and then you just type in Amazon bestsellers. That's it, guys. It's that simple. So now you guys see that I've already visited this link. You just go to like any of these links. This is the advertising version for that link, and then this is just a regular. So you just go to that page, and Amazon actually shows you Oh, uh, what are the best seller products on their platform as we speak? And from the time that I'm making this video to the time that you guys actually start searching, it is going to be different products. So the products are not going to be the same because uh, sales fluctuate, sales velocities fluctuate, products go out of style, uh, product new products come in. So a lot of things happen. So if you don't see the same data, it's because of all those things. Now, you'll see that you have certain categories listed uh, for Amazon uh, bestsellers, right? So if you want to get into the toys and games section uh, category, absolutely. That's one of the top ones, actually. And there's a lot of bestseller products in that if you know exactly what you're selling. And a lot of those products um, that are in toys and games um, tend to be uh, non-seasonal. So there are seasonal products within that category as well. But uh, there are a lot of products that are not seasonal, that are all year round, that you can sell at any time of the year. Now, electronics, I always try to stay away just because of the return rate. Now, you got to understand that your products, you're sourcing mostly in China, right? And as you guys know, if you don't find a quality supplier, electronics tend to be of lower quality coming from China. Now, I know you guys would be like, hey, Tam, what are you talking about? Apple actually sources um, or manufactures the iPhone in China. That's true, but that's because they have a really good supplier. Um, now, you are not Apple and you're not as a newbie. You're not going to find those quality suppliers unless you're paying big bucks for it. So 
we're not gonna worry about that. I don't want you guys to fall into the um, the trick that you start selling electronics just because electronics are a little more sexy, a little more edgy, and people tend to buy those faster, but then the return rate is crazy. And when you, uh, you get a return on Amazon FBA, what happens is you have to pay for the uh, return. Amazon is not paying for it. You gotta understand that it's coming out of your own pocket. And uh, pretty soon as a newbie, you're gonna, um, basically uh, it's gonna liquidate all your profits and you just gonna be remained with nothing so uh, I don't want you guys to lose interest in Amazon or lose hope that it's not gonna make you money uh, there are tons of products that will make you money it's just you gotta know what to stay away from so there are so many categories of best sellers that you can choose in every category there are best seller products right so you got uh, books you got CDs vinyl you got cloning collectibles computer and accessories the accessories part maybe I would get into but not the computers itself per se handmade products that's another category actually a lot of people can sell their handmade goods uh, industrial scientific they have the Kindle which is part of Amazon itself movies and TV um, now pet supplies all kinds of stuff so just for fun, let's look at pet supplies. Let's see what kind of stuff they have there, okay? We're just gonna click on the category and boom, you're gonna see all the best sellers in the pet category, okay? So now, you'll see that there are a bunch of products. Now, what do we do with these? We wanna know the backend data, the backend information, how much FBA fees are associated. You'll see the uh, the reviews, you'll see um, the kind of product it is, how much it's selling, how many, items that seller is selling of this specific product in a month stuff like that that helium 10 will allow you to do that guys so um, I'm just gonna wait for this page to load a little bit and you will see that in this section actually if you're just on Amazon and you don't have the Chrome extension of helium 10 you're not gonna see that data but uh, because I have it you will see here it's sold by an FBA sorry the ASIN number is right there if you guys need that it is sold by an FBA there is only one seller in this category specifically and you can actually calculate the fees how much Amazon FBA fees um, it's gonna require for you to manufacture this product and sell it so the you don't need to go inside the product you can if you wanted to to see more details but what I want to do is on this page one of the best sellers which is gonna be your top 10 or top 15 I'm gonna run uh, helium 10's Chrome extension right uh, just bear with me internet is a bit slow uh, so the Chrome extension the x-ray uh, tool that you have on the Chrome extension again guys it's absolutely free I have a link down below for you guys and other discounts on the full helium 10 products so if you're interested by all means uh, in the description again so x-ray let's click on x-ray and let's see what happens okay all right guys so there you have it now the average numbers are not loading up just because there are different types of products and they're different um, in different areas of that specific category but nonetheless guys it is so these products are basically listed by their BSR which is best seller ranking so if you will see there you go the average numbers came in as well so uh, the average price in this category of these products is about $17.28 my first first red flag is right there because I don't like to sell any product below $25 and therefore obvious reasons guys 50% um, of your selling price is gonna go into your Amazon FBA fees your manufacturing costs and your shipping costs right so you want to be left with something and then of course when you with your advertising and everything you're not gonna be left with anything so um, actually about $15 is an average number that I've seen over the years that you will be spending on those things. So whatever is left over is your profit. So I don't want to make $2.28 on this product. I want to make $15 on a product, right? Uh, so that's why I'm not going to get into this kind of product but or this category. But let's look at the data so we know. Look at this crazy guys. So this one has a high revenue. This one has uh, over, the, uh, it has made in a month seven hundred and sixty five thousand dollars and five hundred and seventy eight now it's selling forty one thousand four hundred units a month all right the price is eighteen dollars and forty nine cents that's your number one product and um, you have an FBA fees of twenty five dollars and eighty five cents now let's take a look at what the price of this product is because it, it has to be something really good now you see there is loss here 
You see that guys? So that's your red flag that this seller is not really making money or the numbers here, uh, Amazon is inflating it for some reason. So all of a sudden, that's a red flag for me. It's not a product I want to get into, even though this, you see the sales have dropped and then kind of plateaued. So this graph kind of shows you how the sales are doing. Now, that's not a product that I want to get into. Um, review count. It has 19,000 reviews, which means that this product has matured and there's not going to be a market or a, an opening in the market for me to go in as a new seller just because of the type of um, the type, the number of reviews that I see. So guys, you got to go with a really low number of reviews. First of all, when you're looking for a product, but this is a great way to see what kind of products are selling and then you go and dig deeper into that category. Okay. So, in this category, pet supplies, so let me show you guys one that actually looks good to me. So this one is selling about $19, but your Amazon FBA fees are about $10, which tells me that I, uh, 50% of uh, that goes to the, basically your fees and manufacturing and all that, but 50% is actually your profit. Now, let's take a look at the number of reviews. Now, review count is 12,000. I'm not interested in that, guys. Like, I understand that it's a top selling product, but because of those reviews, right? So I, I like something like this, guys. Look at this, okay? It has 16 reviews. You guys see that, right? So it's priced at really low. So that's another reason but FBA fees are high. So that's another product that I won't get into. It looks like this category is actually really, really bad category. Um, and I'm just going to see if there are any other ones with lower reviews that I could be interested in. No, it looks like all these best sellers, they are not doing well, especially in this category. Okay. So that's what you got to watch out for. You want to go for something that is actually $20, at least $20 and above, your FBA fees are about half of that. Now, FBA fees do not include manufacturing costs and shipping. So manufacturing and shipping is another six to $7 on average, right? So this product, you're actually making about 30% profit, which is still, it's okay, but we want to be higher, right? This, this one, now nah, the price is too low. We're not going to be interested in that. Uh, let's take a look at some of the higher ones and see what's in there. So you got one that is $33, okay? Green is original, teeny natural. Um, dog treats, so these are dog treats. Um, it's $11.35, okay, that's perfect. So it's not too crazy for me. Now, it, this could be an area, yes, the review count might be high. Um, well, not too high, actually. Surprisingly, we're, well, yeah, it's about 8,000. I thought it's at 1360. So this is something, a product that I could get into. So dog treats, right? So what I'm gonna do now is once I found something that is interesting to me, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna search it. So I'm gonna search dog treats, okay? All right, breaking news. All right, so dog treats and let's see what comes on this page. Now what I'm gonna do is, you'll see that there are different prices and rightfully so because there are different sizes and different products. So I'm gonna run Helium 10 again against this specific product page because I want to see what products are actually profitable. Now we're going to wait a second for the x-ray to come in because I want to run x-ray against this. All right guys, there it is. As it is loading the average numbers, let's take a look. So you will see that some of these, so the first thing I look at is low number of reviews because I want to know why that product with such a low number of reviews is doing well. And that's where your opening is. So you will see that this product is not generating too much revenue, right? It's a really low uh, cost or low selling price for this product, so I'm not interested. What I'm interested is something like this, guys. It has 115 reviews, okay, it's not too bad. It's $29, FBA fees $9, $7 shipping and manufacturing, let's say. So you're looking at about 15 per, 50% margin here. So that's an area you wanna get into. So some of the other products that are $14, $15, I would not get into it just because you will see that just with Amazon FBA fees, which includes your pick, pack, and ship to the client, that even that's eating a lot of your profits away. So you never want to get into a product like that. So 
let's take a look i'm just gonna see if scroll down a little bit it's it is running a bit slower than usual just because of the search volume it is really high so on average in this category the selling price is about 14 dollars. so that tells you that this is a category with a price that people are looking for so people are looking for around average um 14 for a product um maybe a little bit more for higher end products but not so much the number of reviews is 320 which is not too too bad for a category to get into but you want it to be lower of course so uh, let's take a look and see what kind of products we can get into so you'll see that some with seven reviews it's doing 650 a month not really that interesting for me it's 20 dollars fpa fee is zero it could be because amazon is selling it so let's see where else we can get in so something that has a really good price point and has low number of reviews that's our trigger guys so this one has 22 reviews selling for $25 with 842 uh, of Amazon FBA fees so which tells me that about $10 is gonna be profit on this at the end of the day once you're done your PPC campaigns uh, and uh, you have done you've manufactured your product and the cost of shipping it to bring it to an Amazon FBA warehouse so that's it guys those are the kind of things you're looking for and then <coughs> sorry and then you start digging deeper into the product to understand it from there you will find suppliers on alibaba or wherever you can and then from there you go ahead and order your product and start working on your listing we're gonna do another video next time on the most efficient ways to create your listing and what things to do while your product is being manufactured because a lot of times people wait for their product to get there and then they get started on doing things but that's absolutely the wrong way to do it and I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it properly thanks again guys I hope you guys learned something valuable today if you have any questions <coughs> sorry if you have any questions drop it in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye